Welcome back to Can of Wormholes, an absolutely incredible upcoming puzzle game where you control a sentient can who can throw its wormhole into a level select, allowing me to control worms. There's overworld and underworld puzzles. And if you haven't seen this game before, the object is to get the worms into the worm-shaped holes like this. However, it's new in that there's two worms and two holes. So is it possible to switch to the other worm somehow? I don't see a way, but maybe I possibly have to push this over? Ah, you can push it into its hole where it's absolutely destroyed. Issue being, how can I get this worm into this bendy hole? It's clearly backed against the wall, so I just don't see that working out. So maybe the idea is that I'm meant to get this uncontrollable worm across to here, and then avoid going down or avoid going in, but rather go over like that. And I want to push it up. I wonder if I can push it up like this. There we go. Maybe I can then snake around to the other side so I can push it into its hole here. Interesting. Okay, so there's some just stationary confectionary worms that have to enter their holes. And when I complete a puzzle, I get a symbol. It's a new symbol. I have one T. And I'm in the mushroom land. It's an interesting biome. There's three worms here. And I could see the level in the overworld. My guess is that I have to use these worms as bridges. Because I somehow have to cross this gap, but I fall into the goop there. So the only thing I could possibly think of is using these as bridges. So the issue is this. I don't know exactly the best way to push these, but I feel like I want it in the center. And then get this kind of out of the way. I want to push the fake worms down, but that doesn't seem to be working. Let me try a different idea where I push one worm down and the other worm up. And then I'll push this down again because I realize this is actually kind of tough to visualize in my head. At least now I can finally push this down a little bit. But I think I want to keep going, send it down further, but then push it over. See, it's created a bridge and that's cool. But this doesn't feel like it's gone that far. I have to keep resetting because I feel like I have to look very far ahead to get this. I guess one thing I could do is push this worm out of the way because I can always retrieve it like that. So maybe I have what it takes now to get the other worm into a favorable position, which would involve pushing it down a bit, pushing it over some more, and then pushing it pretty far off. And maybe I can make some magic happen now. If I line it up here and start pushing it down, how far can I get? Pretty far, it would seem. I think I can make it all the way over to make it to my goal. Nice, bendy bridge. Another cool puzzle done. Let's check out this third one. I see batteries on the floor, reminiscent of when I solved puzzles with this can. I can't wait till I'm actually solving active puzzles with the can, but for now, oh. So obviously I have to cross this gap to get myself in the goal, but I'm too short. However, on the, on the other side, there is a dot, which will probably have to be used for a bridge. So I feel like I have to use this worm not to immediately push it into its hole, but as a hook. And I think setting up there seems okay. Because I can send it down and then hook it over, pushing the food. And then pulling it up just to allow it to... Well, don't, don't, don't fall in there, you silly little worm. Just to get onto this side where I can push it down again and then over and then up into the water. Now, that little pellet in the ground, which is normally food, can function as a bridge, allowing me to get across. Very clever puzzle design. You may see why I like this game. Every single puzzle seems to teach something new and has some sort of different creativity to it. I could go left, or I could unlock the door that requires two symbols. So I'm gonna do that one. It's kind of an open world puzzle game. I don't know how open it is, but it feels pretty open. And I'm down for open world puzzle games where the uh, rules are creative and you have to figure out everything on your own. This is a lot of worms. And I have two food dots. I don't know if those are meant to be used for bridges or something else, but including myself, I have four three length worms and four two length worms. And the goals are four three length, three two length, and one four length. So I must eat both of those dots. I would love to go and eat those dots, but I just fall in. So I have to clearly fill up a path first. Well, how does that work if I can't get behind it? Maybe I have to push some of these back. Oh God, they all move actually very satisfyingly. I don't know how I can get any of these out yet. Does it help at all if I separate the group somehow? And if I push one down, 
there is no chance of me ever retrieving it. Because even if I become length four, I cannot save the one I pushed down from the edge. Oh, wait a second. Oh, I can cross the gaps. Because if I stand here, I'm not in any one single collection chamber. I'm straddling two of them. So I can use that to my advantage to get exactly where I need to go. And that's how I become length four. Oh, that is so clever. That is unbelievably clever. Well, now hopefully it's as easy as just obtaining these. And then pushing them all in. Hopefully I don't need a specific order. But you never know sometimes. I think there is still exactly one challenge ahead of me. I don't think it's a particularly hard challenge. Let me show you what I mean. So on the very left, there's length two, four, and two. And I'll show what can be done after this. It's pretty easy to get a worm into the first two. But if I were to push it across to get it into the second two, I would have to cross the four gap. And it would fall into there, which I can't allow. But I imagine I can just push it across here without any worries so that's the one last little wrinkle cool puzzle i like how the mass amount of worms are basically there just to intimidate you are these stairs no this is weird though it looks like a hatch i can unhatch i still will solve this puzzle oh this is interesting i have to get a worm of like three in it and i have to ignore the rest yeah apparently i have to ignore the rest somehow am i allowed to just push these off the edge entirely yeah, that's fine. And it may be important so I can actually walk here and then kind of come across a little. Push this in so I can push the long worm back down. And then I can push it in. There we go. So sacrificing some worms for the greater good. I mean, I feel like I'm the only real worm. The rest are just kind of shells of their former selves. This world just feels like it's filled with secrets, but I haven't found any yet. Look, a bunch of legs are just roaming around. I like how my legs have changed colors. More pink, cotton candy-esque. This is odd. So I'm one short of my goal, so I have to eat the food. But there's this funny little worm in the way. Absolutely hilarious. What happens if I just go in and eat the food? Do I then become a little too big? Well, I can't really push it around cleanly. Yeah, I can't push it around because it just hits myself. Can I back out? Only this far. So going in to eat the food first is a bad idea. What if I come around to here? Well, then I may eat the, eat the food, but I'm never going to escape. What the hell? What the fuck? Oh, oh my god. So that's a mechanic? Dude, this game has so many weird and hidden mechanics. What the fuck? That's horrifying. Okay, what if I just push it here then? Maybe I am meant to eat it at least partly? Hmm, just the taste. I don't know, I can't go much- Oh, hold on, wait. If I eat it enough, eventually my tail will be phasing upwards, which means when I back out, I can back out this way. That actually is what the level of meant to ta teach me. I learned it at exactly the right time. What a funny mechanic! I even learned it by accident. It's so cool when puzzle games teach you a mechanic when you're not expecting to learn one. That's actually one of my favorite things. I have missed that sort of thing so much. Oh boy, what else is in store? So I've got a worm of size three. I've got to grow quite a bit to size seven. And all the food is around this fence and this silly little worm is in the way. There's no easy way to push him. He's always gonna push the food. Well, I can push it down now, which at least will let me eat. Do I want to eat right now? Well, so here's what I'm thinking, right? Eventually I'll have to push this all the way down. So I will eat this. I do become stuck there. I become like a bit of a sock. But if I expand my size, to become bigger than this worm, do I consume the whole thing? Well, I eventually become stuck, but I can back out. And I wonder if I have the exact length in order to come around here, get a little further, just to eat this, and I again can't reach. But, but, I bet I have the exact length to come around this size side and get the final piece of food. That is so clever. Um, but now how do I get out? Oh! From here, I can just simply back up. There we go. I went a little too far. I got too ambitious for my wormy self. What an absolutely sick puzzle game. Every single puzzle is phenomenal. It is just nonstop cool mechanic after cool mechanic. What else is in here? So I control a pretty long worm, but still not long enough for the goals. I believe I'm three length short, which means I must eat all of this food somehow. Do I have to use the 
worms inside the pen to fish out the other foods? I'm not sure. Because now that I'm here, can I reach the other one? I can reach this one, yes. Oh, and I'm a little stuck. Interesting. Let me reset then. Because what if I need to get this food first? Maybe it's the only way? No, I'm still a little shy. He wants it so bad, but cannot eat it. What if instead I use one of these worms to help me bring the food over? I don't have much faith in that idea. I can push... No, I can't really push the food down. There's no space. I can only push this worm over to an extent. I can get it about this far. I'm going to reset again. What on earth should I do here? Let me see something. If I was to just eat the first food and then come out of here, could I actually escape? No, I just barely escape right now. So then clearly the goal is to use this to somehow enable me to eat all of the food. So I could push one of these down, but I can't push it over very far. But maybe I can keep messing around. Because maybe I can push this over a little further. Yeah, honestly, maybe there's good. Come on back. Push it down. And then push it over. Pushing the food over. Quite a bit over, actually. And maybe that's what I need. Because now I can eat two foods back out a bit and probably reach this third one. Very clever. Again, subverting my expectation of uh, what exactly each element is for. The game wanted me to take a hint, but I was ready. Ready to solve. And this world continues. I got eight of these symbols. I'm ready to unlock some doors. Get the two worm into the two worm hole and get the four worm into the four worm hole. That's not a four worm. That's a three worm. Here's what I'm thinking, right? I can't push this worm from the side because I fall off. What if I push against the wall, eat it, and then roll? I got an achievement called Tumblr. All right, I fully socked it. So then I can back out and keep on rolling. Oh, that is so clever. That is unbelievably clever, and that's what the puzzle wanted me to learn. What's nice is simple mechanics that have so many consequences, and I, I, I sound like a broken record, but this is the shit I love from puzzle games. Thank you, whoever made this. I'm having such a good time. So I've got to get two four long worms into the four long worm hole, but the only four long worm is here. The second one's going to be me after I eat these two. But this one's bumped up against the wall, so clearly I got a socket with the three long somehow? I don't know if I should be eating beforehand. Like, maybe this can help me. Oh, I have an idea. I have an idea. What if I do grow to length four? And then when I sock this, I'll have a little extra space to... No, I won't be able to sock the other one. Can I pull out? I mean, kind of. But it's basically stuck there. And I can only, unfortunately, push this currently. I wonder if there's any way to sock the long one, though. Could I maybe double sock it? I mean, this is a really weird idea, but if I line it up like this, I can just like super sausage. And I kind of look like a screwdriver right now. It's kind of funny. Yeah, but all I can do is roll. Funny, but useless. Maybe, maybe I could somehow use the food dots to my advantage somehow? How would that work? I don't know. Well, I think I actually can use the ability to push food to my advantage. It just occurred to me, if I set up food against the wall, I could then stagger one worm, of which I can use to stagger the second worm. That's gotta be it. And it staggers perfectly. Now that's a solid wall, so I can sock this. That was weird. See how I flipped? Look at that. And then I can't flip again. I gotta eat it again. That is curious. But that's how we just solved the puzzle. All right, I slowly got there. I was thinking about some unrelated thing and then it fed into the related solution. That's cool how that happens. Speaking of flipping, this worm definitely needs to be flipped. How much of that previous puzzle actually was intended for me to actually learn this? Oh my, is this really the intended time for me to learn this mechanic? How the hell? The issue is I can't go much further. I can't cross the gap. Do I have to flip it over the fence? I don't know. As long as I'm not physically bending, it can flip. Well, okay. Oh 
I can make my way over to this side. How does that help me though? Right now it doesn't, because I still can't cross that. This big worm has to flip horizontally and vertically? If I like triple eat. I wonder if I press right and the wall somehow wasn't there, if I could tumble over. But then how could I eat if the wall wasn't there, you know? Seems like the same thing that lets me set up the tumble blocks me from progressing after the tumble. I still think I have to do the first few steps where I flip it once and then bring it back over. But then I think I need to change up where I flip it again from. That seems pretty important. I can flip it from all the way out here. <gasps> aha! That's how I do it. Aha! 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 Figure that one out. So here's what's gotta happen, alright? This has to come down by one. I have to eat it, flip it, eat more of it, flip it like this. And then I can back out from here, I flip it. There we go. That's gotta be key. Now at least I can push it up, which will let me come around and push it over. Man, what a tough freaking puzzle. Let's see if I can solve both worms at the same time. Let's go. Simultaneous. That was brutally challenging. I loved it. See, I love when you get stuck on a puzzle. What you're thinking is, there is no possible way to progress. So many bad puzzles will have you stuck on things that are like, Oh, there's like 30 billion things I can do. I'm going to try all of them. No, a good puzzle is if you have no idea. Nothing that you think can progress. But there is something you just have to discover, and that's what I love. What is this? Joystick? I am fairly certain that this resembles the control scheme that was at the very beginning of the game. 